Hello everyone. Welcome to part 4 of interpretation of topographical maps. I am Vidyamala and in this video we are going to learn how to find settlement pattern and compass direction. So, settlement pattern it refers to the way in which the buildings and houses are arranged in a settlement. And there are four common settlement patterns. They are nucleated, dispersed, linear, and radial. Nucleated pattern is also called clustered or compact. In this pattern, the huts are located close to each other. You can remember this with the word cluster. Cluster means what? A group. So, in this clustered or compact or nucleated settlements, the huts will be close to each other. They will be together. Next is scattered or dispersed settlement pattern. As you know, scattering the seeds or dispersal of seeds. So, here one, there one. In the settlement, the huts are far away from each other. Third is linear. In this, the huts will be arranged on either sides of a road or a railway line or a river over a long distance. Radial settlement pattern. As you can see from the picture, usually in the center we have a lake or a monument or a temple like that and the houses spread out in all the directions with this as the center. Come on, let's do some exercises. So, find out the answer for what is the settlement pattern of Gulab Ganj? What is the difference in settlement pattern in Grid square 6233 and the grid square 6232. Third question, what is the settlement pattern of Wahan? So I hope you have completed settlement pattern of Gulab Ganj. As you can see the huts are close to each other. They are compact or clustered or nucleated. Second question, see they are asking you to find the difference. So it means they both are different settlement patterns. So, look at the square 6, 2, 3, 3. This is the square. So, here again it is compact. And look at 6, 2, 3, 2. Here the huts are located little far away from each other. So, it is dispersed or scattered settlement pattern. And third one, Vahan. This is also a compact or nucleated settlement pattern. And if you notice the last 10 or 15 years board exam question, 99.9% .9 the settlement patterns will be either clustered or scattered. This topic is compass direction. We are going to learn how to find the compass direction of one place from another place. We know there are four cardinal directions, north, south, east and west. In between these directions, we have intermediate direction. Between north and east, we have northeast. Between south and east, we have southeast. Between south and west, we have southwest. And between north and west, we have northwest. Now, if you notice, I have started everything with either north or south. You should not start it with east or west. There is no direction called east north or west north. Okay, it should be northeast northwest or southeast southwest now this is how the question will be asked find the compass direction of place a from place b now there are two ways of doing this first i'll teach you the actual method which is a little lengthy one and then i'll teach you the shortcut method so coming to the long method now whenever someone asks you where are you from you will say you are from india or kerala or tamil nadu etc in the same way, look at this question. According to this question, where are you from? You are from place B. So, imagine you are in place B having a magnetic compass with you to find the direction of place A. So, step 1. Draw the four cardinal directions in place B. Step 2. Join place A and place B. Now, what is the direction? It is between north and west. So, the direction is northwest. Now, we are going to do the same problem in shortcut method. So, step 1. As we are from place B, put your finger in place B. And imagine you want to go to place A. We are going to walk to place A. That is step 1. Step 2. You just have to answer two questions. The first question should always be 
should i walk north or south so in order to go from place b to place a should i walk north or south in this case i have to walk north next second question should i walk east or west so after going north this is my eating and side east and this is my other side west so which direction should i go west so here is the answer north west let's learn compass direction with this topographical map so the question is what is the compass direction of rampura from jolpur so this is settlement rampura and this is jolpur so the question is from jolpur so where are we now we are in jolpur so put your finger in jolpur so from jolpur i have to go to rampura so what are the two questions first i should answer should i walk north or south in this case i have to walk south so let me walk south from here after coming to south the second question is should i go east or west so this is my eating and side east and this is my other side west so after going to south i have to go to west so the answer is south west clear everybody let's see one more question what is the compass direction of jolpur from malava you see jolpur and malava are in the same line so you won't get intermediate direction we will get only the cardinal direction so put your finger in malava so from malava i have to go to jolpur so first i should answer the question should i go north or south but in this case in order to go to jolpur i need not go north or south because it is on the same straight line so no need to answer the first question we move on directly to the second question should i walk east or west in this case jolpur is in my east so the answer is east only you need not say as northeast or southeast or anything like that clear now take down some exercises for working out find the compass direction of settlement jual from settlement arniwada settlement chekla from causeway settlement jual from settlement karja come on do it fast using shortcut method i hope you have completed here are the answers first question jual from arniwada so put your finger in arniwada and we have to go to jual so the answer is north west second question chekla from causeway so put your finger in causeway we have to walk south west third question jual from karja so put your finger in karja we have to go to jual so the answer is only west you should not write northwest or northeast because it is in the same straight line so that's all for today's video i hope you are very thorough with today's topic so practice more and more exercises to get full marks in your topographical map see you in my next video until then bye bye